is gonna be the way. now. Calm down. It was moving so damn fast. What? And I just had to get away. I blame her what? There was this, this thing, whatever it was. M, M, you can relax. Joshua's messing with You're us. You're not listening to me. M, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower and it it fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? 
Beth's head. I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks when we were all up here looking for her. We had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and I, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. Barely. What about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is, it's probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. You freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Our responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> Well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? What the hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only going to tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Oh, crap. find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he can't be. We, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You're going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. And don't go outside again until we're back. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh, yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you.
This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? <sighs> Trust me, I know. Hey, come back safe. We need to hurry, son. I, uh, see you soon. So, so, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. What's, uh, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it, and it can kill them if you have to. See, their skin is like, it's like tough armor, unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some patterns. Like any animal. Or human. What, you mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh... Pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. These things, Wendigos, are or, or were human. Do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? <laughs> Maybe they could be cured? <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. Yeah, There's no cure. There's no redemption. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Damn it. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the launch then. Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. Ask 
Ashley! Oh, thank God, please! Let, let me in, quick! Oh, my God! Chris! Oh, my God, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go! That thing was, like, right behind me! Go, 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 go! It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, God. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top? For that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. <sighs> Shit. Fuck, fuck. <sighs> you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. I thought that, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. There's a lot of history to this.
Um, oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Let me see that. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Joshua, you should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? And you left your poor sisters to die. You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear. While a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? Well, they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. They did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Just a game? But it was a game that has driven you to one of your own deepest fears, Joshua. You're now facing something worse than death itself. <laughs> oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Uh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! Don't move. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <sighs> Shit. Fuck, fuck. You guys know what to do, okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Okay, okay, okay. 